So today I'm going to go over a default kind of generic moderation setup for your staff on your Discord server. This is what I've found is worked on the servers that I run now. Most of these are going to be for relatively big servers. Um, these tend to have people that you know do a lot, a uh, little, and then moderation and stuff. So these servers that I've done this on have around 2,000, anywhere from like a fa actually like 10 to I guess 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 members, which are both individual servers that I have. Uh, multiple, couple, 3,000 or so servers. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over the moderation style that I like in my servers. So one of the big things is that you always want to have a little bit of an option um, to change up stuff. Now this, as you can see, we have one server that has a lot of roles. We have a large, large number. Um, some of these are individually specific, but there are something that will stay the same across say, stay the same across all the servers that I'll be showing you today. So this is a 3,000 so member server. There are basically a couple roles. Number one, there is me, which is owner, which you can call it whatever you'd like, but basically it is an owner rank. You have something along the lines of admin, moderator, and then some type of maybe additional vanity ranks. I, on here, it's YouTube, music. There's a bunch of them. So. And here we've basically got a YouTube kind of centered server, but we have a little bit more organization. So we have moderation, both going to moderators, junior moderators, all that stuff. And this is basically just done by making the moderation role a separate and basically allowing um, each of the moderator ranks to not be displayed separate and give everybody both the moderator rank as well as the um, regular rank that they'd be getting like the junior moderator or such. So the next thing I want to point out here is we have something very unique. We have, like as I said, the same thing happened up here with the admins. Um, but one of the biggest things I find and most efficient I find is if you have, you don't basically draw the line um, or you basically do draw the line in between where you are and where your staff are. You want to make sure there's a clear distinction. Otherwise, if you go through and you start promoting, you know, you know promoting people they're gonna get power hungry and if they don't see that there's a you know absolute top that they can reach and there's nothing past that then they're gonna be vicious for some type of co-owner rank or something like that so make sure when you go through and you set up your server that they know everybody knows that you have an admin so basically we're the admin or in this, this case is admin is the very top rank that they can get so I'm gonna go over a couple other servers this is another server this is kinda has the same style as you can see I kinda like to keep with the same general aesthetic so this is a tech, um, this is actually from my other YouTube channel, and this basically is a pretty much 100% tech channel. I have some buddies from, you know, playing, I don't know, for example, PUBG, I uh, have them, you know, situated over here. Um, but then we have, we have to do something, we have to do something different just to follow the same theme of this server. So as you see, admins, moderators, etc. Um, but then we get down to some YouTube ranks, people like to include those to get a little bit more promotion. And then we have some stuff over here. So we have the activity ranks. Activity ranks are a good way to kind of keep people to talk. Not really the best way, more efficient way to do it, but it is a kind of a good special rank to have. And then finally, we're gonna talk about even a kind of less staff um, kind of feel. This is, we have basically management, owner, and that's it. That's pretty much on here. There's not a lot of talking on here sometimes. As you can see, we'll take a look at the roles. But you can see there are some roles in here. It's just a good thing to have is to have a lot of staff on at all times. And, you know, this server is a little bit lacking the staff. But you can see how we've done the moderations. We've done the admin, moderator, and we actually haven't sticked with the same theme. So it's kind of, you know, a little bit different. Yes, we have the management and admin and stuff. But you can see here that, you know, the difference between this server where everything is organized in nice little groups. This server is kind of organized in nice groups and then kind of not as organized in nice groups as you can see here is kind of evident I guess in this video but um I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did of course make sure you give it a thumbs up and of course check out the channel for other cool um, videos about discord tutorials setting up your discord optimizing to get members and I also encourage you to check out the discord and server in the description to help grow your server even more talk with our coaches talk with people that can actually help you one-on-one -on -one, uh, get your server growing um, get you know look for sponsorships if you're interested in doing that and maybe talk with people to promote it and maybe get more even more people in your discord server so make sure you check that out and of course subscribe if you're into these kind of videos and thank you very much for watching goodbye